Dear student, today topic is law of constant proportion, also known as law of definite proportion. And it comes under the law of chemical combination as I discussed in the last video about five types of law of chemical combination rules like Avogadro rules and law of definite proportion, law of multiple proportion. So, in that five, this law of constant proportion or law of definite proportion is one of them. Okay. What it states? In exam, if they ask law of constant proportion, what will you write? Let me warn you here, this topic is very important for your school exam, very important. Okay. From law of chemical combination, they definitely ask this, what do you mean by law of constant proportion? So, do not miss this opportunity to avail that marks. Okay. What is con law of constant proportion? Just understand it roughly once. See, what happens actually? If you get water, what this rule says, if you get water from your tap, from your well, okay, w -E -L, from your well, from sea, from river or you prepare water from laboratory. One thing is common everywhere and what is common? The common thing is, H, if you talk about water means H2O, okay. So, the constituent particles of water, constituent particles means the uh, particles from which it is made up of. Like, so what is the constituent particles of water? That is hydrogen and oxygen, okay, hydrogen and oxygen. So, constituent particles of water has the ratio mass, the ratio mass is constant. Okay. Let me make you this topic, this particular point more clear now. Law of definite proportion, it states that a given chemical compound, you can assume that compound water. The given chemical compound always contains same element, no doubt. Whether you take water from the sea or river or your well or you prepare in the laboratory, it will contain hydrogen and oxygen only. Yes or no? Okay, it is clear. Contain the same element. In the same proportion by mass, see how many hydrogen? 2. How many oxygen? 1. So, you will get 2 hydrogen and 1 oxygen. Correct? So, suppose you got this water from the sea and if you, if you get water from your tap, there will be same a number of hydrogen and same number of oxygen. Yes or no? If you get this water from the river, then there also same number of hydrogen, same number of oxygen. So, what I am trying to say is elements will not change. If the source changes, it does not matter. Elements will not change. That will be hydrogen and oxygen only and its mass has also fixed ratio, same ratio, same proportion by mass. See the last point, same proportion by mass. What does it mean? It means that whatever the mass of hydrogen and oxygen through which they combined to form water, the same mass you will get from the tap water, from river water, from sea water. Okay? Their mass combined, mass involved is same in all the source. So, this is what the law of definite proportion is. We explain this topic numerically also in class 11th. But in class 9th, we explain this much only. Dear student, let me show you one more slide now. As an example, any sample of pure water, okay, it contains 11.19 percent hydrogen. Whether you take that pure water from any source, does not matter, okay. It contains 11.19 percent hydrogen and 88.81 percent oxygen by mass. Okay. So, it does not matter from, from where you got that sample. From any source, it does not matter at all. Its composition is same from all the sources. This is what the law of constant proportion is. Thank you.